Hello, this is Dr. Lotz from HumanBodyHelp.com and today I'll be going over the muscles of the thigh and the hip. I'm going to start off with the lateral aspect of the thigh. The lateral aspect looks like this. This would be the anterior aspect of the thigh and then the medial thigh is going to be in here. Okay, so let's start with the lateral aspect of the thigh. Okay. This muscle right here is the gluteus maximus muscle. Uh, this is the muscle that makes up your butt. Uh, if we were to remove this muscle here, so these are the muscles deep to the gluteus maximus muscle. And here we can see the fibers of gluteus medius, and gluteus medius fibers would go all the way over here, even under this gray band right here, which is uh, part of the iliotibial band, we would have gluteus medius, gluteus minimus will be deep to this, we can't see it in this specimen. Next we look at the posterior aspect of the thigh, where the hamstrings live. Okay, these would be the hamstring muscles right here. We've got the most lateral of the hamstring muscles, the bicep femoris, right here. Biceps implies that there are two heads and there are. There's one head here and we can see the other head over here. This muscle right here, more medial on the posterior thigh, would be the semitendinosus. Semitendinosus is on top of semimembranosus which we could see peeking out the sides from underneath the semitendinosus. And those are the three hamstring muscles. Sometimes, some people like to talk about a fourth hamstring, and that would be one of the heads of the adductor magnus muscle. Now we're on the anterior thigh here. One muscle we can see here, and this muscle is going to attach to the iliotibial band right here. That's the tensor fascia lata. Okay. Now it tenses the fascia lata, which the iliotibial band is a thickened portion of. The tensor fascia lata would attach to the iliotibial band to tighten the fascia lata so that the vastus lateralis can have something to push against when it contracts. When the vastus lateralis bulges, some force gets directed out laterally when it bulges, but we want that force to go all the way down here to the tibial tuberosity so that it can help to extend the leg at the knee. So when the tensor fascia lata pulls on the iliotibial band to tense or tighten the fascia lata, that gives the vastus lateralis something to push against. It pushes back and redirects the force down to the knee so that we can stand up extend the leg at the knee. This is vastus lateralis. This muscle right here is rectus femoris. It's going to come from the anterior inferior iliac spine. Coming from the anterior superior iliac spine would be the sartorius right here. And then we've got this muscle right here which is the vastus medialis. It's a teardrop shaped muscle. Okay, so the quadricep muscles that we can see are vastus lateralis, rectus femoris, and vastus medialis. That's three. The fourth quadricep muscle is underneath rectus femoris. And that's going to be here. We can see a nice tendon of it and then some of the muscle fibers. Okay, this would be vastus intermedius, okay, deep to rectus femoris. So now we're looking at the medial aspect of the thigh. This muscle right here in the middle, this is the gracilis. Okay. Moving anterior, we can see part of the adductor magnus. Moving posterior, we can also see part of adductor magnus as well. Okay. This one right here is adductor longus. Adductor brevis we're not really going to see on this model. That's going to be in here. This muscle right here, this is the pectineus muscle. This muscle right here, this is going to be the iliopsoas muscle, a combination of iliacus and psoas major. This will attach to the lesser trochanter of the femur. 
Now over here, I would have the adductor magnus muscle, adductor magnus. Now we can see the medial hamstrings next to adductor magnus over here. Remember we have semi-tendinosis and semi-membranosis right here. Now this medial aspect of the thigh, what I want to show you are three muscles, one, two, three, that converge and insert onto the medial tibia at the proximal end. Okay? This structure right here looked like a goose's foot to early anatomists with the toes here. Okay? That's called the pes anserine tendon. Now the pes anserine tendon is made up of three muscles, the sartorius, the gracilis, and the semitendinosus. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.